you guys are dealing with a lot with um, definition. Um, in some years past, when uh, I got or came on board here to the town, uh, this comes up all the time. Every time Patrick gets a A and R, every time he gets a permit to build a building, he has to uh, check to make sure that the lot list uh, is adequate. So I think we all agree that the current definition does not leaves a lot. It, it leaves a lot to be desired. I don't know how you use this. <laughs> um, so uh, we all know that the, that doesn't um, that the definition doesn't work. The existing definition doesn't work. So existing in the current ordinance or in tariffs? Uh, existing in current. Okay. Not in tariffs. So back some time ago. Uh, what was that, in 2010? 11, Rick 2010 or 11? Yeah. Uh, there was a petition in there to amend the definition. Okay. Um, this was done, and I'm sure you've seen these diagrams. We did it in 10. Is it? Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the we one have this here somewhere, right? Yeah. Well, it, uh, Tara's, I think, is similar to this or has a combination of these things. Tara reused the same diagrams. Okay. All right. Yep. So, um, when I looked at this, um, this definition works provided you guys agree with it in the sense of not necessarily the definition. It's easy to achieve this uh, from an enforcement perspective, okay? It's easy for Patrick, it's easy for most people to decipher whether it meets the requirement. And the simple explanation of it is you have a front yard line, so this is considered the street. You have your front uh, yard setback, which is, leaves it variable, which is good, because you want it to be able to reference it back to a chart, okay? Because the front yard setback's gonna change depending on your zone. So that, leaving that as a chart-driven thing works. And same with the lot width, is chart-driven based on your, your zone that you're in. So. RA2 is, or RA1, you know, different right. lot widths, right. okay? So the way this is established is front yard, front yard setback, at that setback line, you are gonna draw a circle, okay? That circle is the lot width. That circle has to fit within the property lines. So none of the property lines would cross the circumference of that, okay? Now what that does is here on a regular rectangular one, it works fine, okay? When the lot width along the street gets narrowed, actually what happens is these two side lines are actually on the tangents of the circle, okay? Now to, to determine that, it's just the center line of the circle out to a right angle with the side property line, okay? No. So, so the bottom line this is gets, this would go up. Yep. Yeah. No, no, the circle never moves. The circle never moves. Because right now it's set the minimum lot shall be achieved and maintained at the minimum required depth of the front yard. Okay, so so, so at the setback. So you're saying you've got to check the lot width at the setback? That's that's what this currently says. So it says at so what would be just because I don't know. What would be wrong with that? Like, why can't we change that if we can acquire the same thing back here? Well, we got we to gotta determine why they want it. Why at can't the, the circle move? Well, I'm just, I'm He's just, just what explaining I'm doing, what I'm it's written. Explaining how it's yeah. written no. and how it would be able, be able to be identified. So you have a property line that's doing that. Here's the front yard. Here's your front yard setback. In here, you have to draw the circle, okay? Now what happens is, that's the center line of the circle. This comes off 90 degrees here, okay? That one comes off 90 degrees here, okay? So when it's a parcel that is shaped like this, it actually gets wider at that point. There was so slight. But that, that, it, see, it works, Frank, because Literally, what Patrick would have to do 
he would take a drawing. Right, but theoretically, this he would put that circle in there and go, yes, the circle fits. And the circle fits right there, and the center line of it, as long as that center line. Okay, so he he back. takes he takes a drawing. Yep. He puts the the setback on it, and yep. then centers the circle on the setback to the largest circle he can find. Not the largest circle, the circle that's determined by the lot width. So you, he finds a scale, 20th scale, and he says 150 lot width is this circle here. He takes okay, so he's not calculating the lot width. He's seeing if it'll fit in by the chart. Every time right. I did that, Doug, and I understand that the, the way it is now is, is very confusing, and this makes it easier to calculate this circle scheme. Yeah. But every time I did it on an existing lot, the circle encroached the street. Which is, which is fine, as long as it... Well, it's not fine according to what we were told. Well, right. well that says it has to stay within all the Well, boundaries. what Doug is looking at is so, different than so what's in Kara's finish. ordinance, so first of all. So any cul-de-sac lot, and you know all the streets now are probably going to be short streets with cul-de-sacs, they don't comply. I would say that anything that has an irregular shape to it, you know, the standard thing is now get 75 feet, go right. up on an angle, come off and make this, you know, flag lot kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That this that would not be allowed. allowed just with this definition. But again, remember he went to the next one and did the special permit that allowed this. Right, right. Your flag okay. lots we've already talked about, and they have to have a separate definition, yeah. in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. But but just on a regular shaped lot, which you know every cul-de-sac, every lot on a cul-de-sac has a 70 keys in on the 75 foot minimum absolutely uh, by the TV I'm not sure about the right angles but I'm every time I did it on any of the lots we've worked with the circle encroached the street so but 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 as you know the lots are fine the lots are, are, are fit into the neighborhood and everything so if well, that's the only thing then we need to adjust for that well it's not that it's yeah you're you're taking a not a huge leap, but you're taking a, a definite different approach to things because right now the way it was determined is if you had a big long lot that was like this, mm -hmm. somebody was taking this dimension, somebody was taking oh, yeah, this know. dimension, the average. and somebody was taking that dimension and dividing it by three and right. saying, okay. I know. But So what's wrong with that? What's wrong with it? Yeah, what's it, wrong with it's that? It's hard. You, the definition, the current definition, does not explain that because it's hard to see this, but this actually says the mean width measured at right angles to the depth. Well, on this parcel here, so you could take as many measurements as you want. Say, you've got a couple of options for right things. angles. Where's you're you're right, though. The, the definition depth? is a problem. Where's the depth? The mean depth over here is right here. The mean depth over here is this distance. I mean, it just, it's, it's before you angle. started doing that, I, I'm saying, if if someone said that to me, I would have I would say the middle of the front property line, the middle of the back property line, and the middle of the center property line. That, that's not how it. That's, that's not, not what it says. Well, I'm I'm we're trying to find an easy way yeah. to do it. The right. circle is an easy way to do it. So I have a question. So here, here, Can sorry. you go to the yeah. flag lot for a second? So here's an example of what this code used to do, okay? Here's the lot, obviously, shaped, okay? It says the mean width measured at right angles to its depth. So do you determine this as being the depth of the lot? Or is this the depth of the lot? Or is it the overall? So the mean depth over here is that point right here. Now you're supposed to come off at 90 degree angles to that. And then, so it, th this thing just was absolutely a nightmare. So here, that's what this diagram showed. Here's the depth of the lot. Here's the mean of the depth. Right angles across, that would be where the lot width would be. Nothing, you know. Yeah, the only way you could do it on this one is from the center of everything. That well, but depth. that's not, a, the means is the means of the depth. So that's the, one of the depths, that's one of the depths or that overall is a depth. So this that one doesn't necessarily, it's not a great one. That sucks. Okay, where, can we do flag lots for a second? I want to see someone think. Yeah, where is it? 
this verbiage that you have here that works for flag lots, would that work for irregular lots? Yeah, yeah. it does. It just means it, it means the difference is it's not a permitted by right, it's permitted by special permit. So can we change that to flag lots and irregular lots? Would that fix our problem? Uh, an irregular lot would fall under this criteria. But it because if it didn't irregular, meet if right? it if it didn't meet this criteria it would become, it would fall under that criteria. So I know what Bill's trying to say is, right now his properties are conforming and they're okay. If we change this and his circles don't fit, would they fall under this rule and they'll still be conforming or will they be now not conforming? That's the... Well, the pre-existing non-conforming would be, um, you know, I, I, I don't know if you could write into that that you know, existing lots or existing lot kind of thing, pre-existing non-conforming. Again, Until the they difference sell, is though, right? well, the difference is matter. you're still going to no. be able to do uh, additions and modifications and all that as long as it's not classified as a pre-existing non-conforming. Well, it would be as soon as you. I I believe it would be, but regardless, there's a lot of provisions for single and two-family homes that you can make yeah. modifications without needing to go to ZBA as long as you're not making the non-conformity worse which is pretty much impossible to do unless you're dividing the lot again. I don't again. think we're going, I, I, I'm that the intent is not to go after things that have already been done. No, 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 no. No, 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 no but no. we're just no. thinking like in the to, future when you sell, yeah. like now you have a non home. No, right? it's the no. things like setbacks are what cause problems and this isn't affecting setbacks. So, Bill, do you think that would work for you if you could put your irregular lots into the definition? I'm just the raising lot? the question. That's all. That, that any of the cul-de-sac lots that I could put my hands on, the circle didn't work the way it's described here. So, but then it would go to this. So then it would go. It would go into you know 6.41, which would be you know reduction of minimum lot width. And then you would fall under this criteria, well, which allows what a special permit or something like it, that. <clears throat> is that what that says? The issuance of the special permit under the provisions of Section 12 of this ordinance, the planning board may allow the reduction of a minimum lot width requirement to allow the creation of a call it an estate lot. Why I don't know why you refer to it as that, but whatever. Subject to is that is that in our thing now? No. No, that's what was proposed back in 2000. So what? Oh, let's okay. be clear. What Doug is looking at is not. What Tara has, right? It is different, right? Okay. Did, did did you have an idea instead of instead of? I I don't think there's a problem with what was proposed in 2010. The question to you guys is the numbers. By that I mean here. So if you have a, a lot that doesn't fit the the minimum lot width based on the circle, you would go to this section and then try to achieve it here. Here, this is pretty stringent. This says the minimum lot on a flag lot would have to be 1.5 times larger than the minimum lot size. Which I think for a flag lot it's makes okay. sense. It does, it, yeah. But, but not also for the regular lot. How about the regular lot? God, no. Right. 1.5 times? So if, if the minimum lot width is... Uh, 20,000 square feet, you're up to 30. No, no. no width. It, yeah, because well, the well, circle. First, it's first, again, you got to remember it starts with starts with <coughs> size, right? It starts with lot size. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Does it? Yeah, a lot must be provided. Well, let me ask another question. Why, if that was proposed in 2010, why did Tara change it? Was there an issue with what was proposed? It, it yeah, you guys ripped it apart. It never got passed. So there are things in here that maybe I'm not sure what caused this to fail. I don't know if it was the 1.5. I don't know if it was the 50 right. feet. I don't know what it was that who, caused who did it to fail in front of. Everyone, planning, planning board, board, planning. Oh, it, well, it got referred to can planning get, board. Can, can can we get a copy of that for our next it's meeting? It's on I the drive. I'll email it directly too. But oh, okay. it is you guys do have access. I mean, I think I'm okay with that, the way it's described. I I had taken the Amherst well, uh, one, where they. They want the area of each flag lot, for instance, to be double the minimum lot right. area normally so required. And I made a notation 1.5 is you is probably enough. I tweaked for a flag lot. But you what put that into one of your regular lots on your. It won't work. It's no, not going to work. No. Right? No. Your, your well, lots would be. But you'll you'll be surprised because really what happens is when the, the lots get pinched at the front, that's the biggest issue. You pick up the well, area in the back. So what happens is if you pick up the sorry, Alex. You know, if here's the street line and you go down to 75 feet here and you flare out, you're
your acreage starts getting increased no, God here, kind of thing. You know, when the circle fits down in there. Okay. The you circle know. only attends to lot width, anyways. The circle, the circle only attends to lot width, and they want that achieved so that you can't have a, you know, a flag lot would be this kind of thing. What I yeah. don't understand when is the circle doesn't fit at the front yard setback. What's the whole right angle thing? Why, why even put that in there? The, the, the right angle is just a, a, a geometry thing that the, the surveyors that, would use as they go through it. So you don't even have to explain that. All it is is that. No, but it changes the lot width. Changes whether the circle fits in, no? No, no. The circle fits in, so the definition would be that the circle has to fit in or the two, the, the property lines cannot encroach on the circumference of the circle as it's placed on that front yard setback. Right. So now the right angles. What you're 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 saying right angles to the two sides. What, what why? The surveyors have to have a, a, no. a be able to. It's a benchmark type thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so Bill, you, you don't have a big circle or a big yeah, balloon to bring out there, so they have to have some mathematical way of I think this way this starts to make sense. I had never seen this lines. before. I wish I had. So. Uh, Frank, what happens on a circle kind of thing is if I'm trying to get to these two points, that's the 75 feet. Yeah. Okay, I can't, it, and here's the lot width. If I do that, you see how it chops off the circle? See how that little bit got lopped off? Yeah, and then the it's lines not in a, there? Uh -oh. it, it, sorry, that, so then that's see. irregular. That makes it irregular. That would be an example of irregular. Now, to tweak that, all the gentleman has to do with the property lines is go. What if he can? Well, then it doesn't. Then, mean. then it. Then right. It, so that's so, a design thing. So for him to determine this angle here, he finds that point there and does this. That's what creates the. the that's tangent. the right angle. That's the tangent. That's, right. So that's I just only don't a understand what or that's only the purpose thing. of the right angle thing. It's only a geometry thing. This, this ends up telling you what that distance is right there, how much longer that has to be. For you to fit that in circle. To, for the circle so if an architect the, was, was going to take a plot of land and, and divide like it up, <clears throat> and the, give me a lot width. 100. All right, huh? 100. Okay, so now he takes a circle that's 100 foot in diameter yeah. and just plops it all over his drawing and draws lines to... But the circle has to be located on the front yard. Right, side. so he draws the street in. Yeah. He and measures thir whatever it is, 35 feet off the street. That's right. what they do in here. Yeah. And so then just plops circles all right. the way along the, right. so here's the, the road. street. You, well, here's, you still have to have lot area. And yeah. So here's the road, Frank. Here is the front yard setback line. Yeah. Okay. He goes and does this. One. He goes and does two. this and does this. Right. You know. Now, if he wanted the 75 foot over here, He'd have to do this, okay? And then if he tried to get to there, obviously that one wouldn't work. So you space it out happened? a little bit more. Yeah. Why didn't that work? Because it, you go from circle. 75 oh, feet see. up to 100 yeah, 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 yeah. feet. Yeah, cut, cut the circle. Cut the circle off. Okay. Thanks. Put it up with me. <laughs> but he could, he could come out here and then go this way. Absolutely. This is good. Yeah. Like that. Well, that's all part of what Rick's, Rick's allows it these guys top down. Mm -hmm. to do that, though. He's saying how many circles you can fit in a square. I said, I like the half money. Yeah. That's what I came up with. The, uh, someone's got to design a software that you can put the point on put the piece of property it's, in, put the lot width in the front. It's not difficult. I shouldn't say it's not difficult. It is difficult in the sense that you're trying to, again, as Mr. Burke just mentioned, the cul-de-sac is the biggest thing. Yeah. Okay, you've got a circumference here of X. You're trying to get how many 75-foot increments yeah. you can get oh, off of that. Thing. Right, but and based on the shape pin, of the street, you might get an extra it, lot in. Pinwheeling it. If you, yeah, if usually if you, if you, you get three at the end of the cul-de-sac, yeah, no matter how you. Yeah. Who showed the one? Somebody showed us one where the cul-de-sac was this, like this, and to get the 75 foot, they went like this, and the property, other property line was like that. So here was the the 75 yeah, foot was that. the frontage. This ended up being about 10 feet. You know, you can't fit a house in. Yeah. Right. You can't. 
But right now, be, with the law of averages that we're going by, you can, yeah, you can make it work. This, and then this lot could have come up here for It'd be a flag down and gone like this. Right. And somebody could have gone, that's dimension one, here's dimension two, here's dimension here's three, here's four. Yeah. The average of those is it's a, it's a, it has a lot left. Yeah. That's where that, that whole first definition fails. So, so I like what we just talked about as long as the cover is a regular. Well, the thing with, so Doug, you're referring to Rick's thing. He was allowing the front of the circle to go over the property lines. And I think that uh, you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's the same. I, I, again, this was some time ago that I. And you, I, my issue is that I think you have to because when you have a 175 foot diameter, but a 40 foot setback, the circle's going to go out into the street. It's, go the street. Street. it's mass. I was going to go there after we digested all of this on the way. I'm struggling with why the circle can't hang out into the street. Well, it's, <laughs> it's going to have to. It, it would hang out into the street. It's a question of. The you know, sidelines. So now in this case here, the front yard set, if this is 100 and the front yard setback is only 40, the line, the front line is way up in here. So you really have to get, yeah. you know, it's, it's forcing you to get, it's, it's trying to force you to get rectangular lines. Is this conforming or not? That's conforming in Rick's. No, but what you just explained. No. Is, was this what was presented? That was no. That's, yeah, yeah, that was from his PowerPoint <coughs> that he. I mean, he had multiple iterations because it kept going around in circles, but. I gotta go. I apologize. I'm the culprit and I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we can get it done. <laughs> that's what they so, say about you. That's right. Yeah. Well, that doesn't make you feel too good if you're in the same category as me. That's pretty so bad. This, this, is probably probably a, this, uh, is, this is a slight iteration of what I think was presented in this one. Now, again, the difference here is they're telling you where you can put your house on this one, okay? No, it's okay. just showing where the front yard setback is. Where the front yard setback is, but... But, but my, my point is, where you were talking, this circle goes outside the on property this, line. On this iteration, what he had was there. If he changed, he might have changed this. I don't know when he, this was. Yeah, well, if it was before or after, who knows? Oh, but if because the he's, circle can hang out into the street, and the, all the rest of the circle has to be in the lot lines. I That's think fine. we're good. Me too. And we don't need to beat this poor horse to death any further. This one is confusing though, because it's, it's that a, one. I still think. There. I right, hold think up, Allison. Let's just yeah, uh, hold, hold on a sec. Go ahead. A copy and paste error. No, I, it wasn't. He. I highlighted the part that says it can hang over the street. lot lines other than no it says more than the street i'm pretty sure will you read that the circle may, sorry sorry yeah the circumference of the circle may cross over the boundaries of the lot between the lots frontage and the minimum front yard front setback measured from the street line but not cross over any other boundaries. so that's so, what you were saying last week right that, well and that's what i drew was that rather than doing a full circle just do a half circle if that's all you care about is the back half but yeah, what's wrong with that? It doesn't, it, it's less restrictive on, on the minimum. I mean, the, the greatest front yard setback is 40 feet. There's really the only so much you can, the, the greatest, largest the largest, the largest setback in any district is 40 feet. 40. So mm -hmm. between that minimum front yard setback and the frontage, there's really only so much craziness that can what's happen. What's the lot uh, where, where there's a 40 foot setback what's the lot width so it's 40 it's 125 and 150. so what's half of 150 is 75 so yeah it's going to stick out in the street 35 feet so uh, that's why i had thought that this the only thing would say in half circle less. is people are going to get well i did semicircle well, and that's why you have diagrams. Yeah. That does the same thing as what this does with, with the verbiage. Right. The and that's what I was basing it off of. So if you use that with that verbiage, then that kind of marries that together. These are all the same? Yes, yes. Now, the only difference is, and again, it's very slight that you know, like we talked about earlier, in order to avoid, 
encroachment, that lot line would have to be adjusted so that it hits the tangent of that. That's right. Crazy. Versus the, it's yeah. This is more permissive than what Doug was explaining, right. and it and that's I what was in here, though. sort of based this off of my conversations with Bill and the cul-de-sac concern, but. So the, the first thing that Doug was explaining does force more rectangular lots. And then if you don't have that, then you can just see if you can fit a flat lot. All of this is going to force more rectangular lots. Right. You're going to get lots rectangular lots, or you're going to get lots like this with a wide corner. Okay. Is that well, not if, you, not if you go this way, because then it can hang out in the street. It, no, it's the same thing. They're uh, all going to hang out in the street. It's, it's whether the property does this, or the property does this is really what happens. They're all hang out on the street. So this yeah. is our whole package of what you're proposing. Well, it was what I had worked on. It doesn't necessarily. Do you like it? Do you like what you came up with? Well, I was, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I based it on my conversations with Bill Burke and what he wanted. But I. So this, well, I, I haven't had a chance to. It's fine other than it doesn't have any restrictions for that first 40 feet. You have to have 75 feet of frontage and then between in that next 40 feet you got to go out to 125 or 150. And that's basically what it comes And to. there's really only so many ways 75 feet you can mess it up. 150 in 40 feet. To do that, those are lots of oh, very Why, why like can't that. we just say at the setback it has to be 150 feet? Why why are we Well, I because what happens is right up with odd Hold shape, on. weird Go ahead. Well, what happens is the front yard setback. The circle helps only because of geometry. Because if if I've got a property line that starts off like this, okay, and here's the street, my front yard setback is like that. It have, does have no relationship to this. So, you know, this distance is a lot longer than that distance. And this also helps ensure there's a good bubble where the house can be put right. on the lot, rather than it getting really narrow and the house just is like sitting on that narrow portion in the right, back. Right, because the half circle has yeah. to be behind the setback. Right. So the front can be a little bit more narrow, but the back has to be able to accommodate that. And that's where the house is going to be. So you've got a nice buffer around the house. So, okay, can I ask one thing? Like, this would work where all our new developments are and up by Fairhope, but how about when you get into like the Merrick section? Would this would this work there? Those are, oh, I don't know, probably not just because, well, it would work, but the Merrick section. Most of the lots are rectangular and. They're non conforming. They're some standard lots. They're not conforming to now. With. So would they fall under the flag lot irregular to rebuild a house? You can re. Build or if it was never built upon, you can put a house. I, the bigger issue with the Merrick neighborhood is reducing the minimum lot area requirement and probably the width. Yeah. Right now we're requiring ten thousand square feet, and most of those lots are only seventy five hundred. And how do so we, that's the issue. It, I mean, how do we change that without affecting the rest of town? Because it's almost like two. You'll do that when you get to the chart. chart. Yeah. Say, yeah. Just just do it, another line. Do it in the chart. chart. Yeah. yeah. So Which is very. I mean. But you could do Simple it by to zone do. too. Well, that that's what it is. That's the nice residency thing. Always is keep this zone. flexible to your chart. You know, don't start saying minimum lot right. is 150 because in a residential area you might be, to, or you know. You could solve you, a lot of problems by by for the Merrick section and other like areas by changing the the the, width, the minimum size yeah. and the width. Right. I mean, hell, they used to put houses on 50 yeah. by 100. So yeah. we can do that further down in Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Like Doug said, everything, if we use these graphics, everything is chart driven. And then would this still be the chart that they used, even though you made the lot width smaller? Yeah, if right. That's, that's chart, because that's the circle still size. To find out what X would be, you'd go to the chart. Okay. And the chart for Merrick, the X would for Merrick would be different than the X for right. the whole. Right. Whole. right. Yeah. Okay, I kind of like that part. Well, just should have a running list of what you want to see accomplished when we're done with the whole thing in case. That, I think, is on my list that I had initially the, distributed. 
So I, 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 I agree. I think the circle works when you call it a semicircle or a full circle and allow the well, it's, lines it's to encroach into the... How... I mean, you could word it as a circle. The it, circle works because the circle gives you that ability to angle anything. Because, see, unfortunately, somebody's going to go, you know... If you spun that, yeah, if, it, well, if, if it, it goes on a different angle, if it's not, because, see, all these are nice because the front yard is straight. Right, but it's not necessarily yeah. going to be like that. Do you like Allison's half circle? Well, the, the issue is, whether it's a half circle, whether it's a half circle, it's the same what, thing. It's uh, a yeah. diameter of a half circle and diameter of a full circle, same thing. It's the I just don't know whether, I don't right. know whether you put wording in there that the only place the circle can cross a boundary is, is in road. front of the setback. Right. Just there's so the key. There's the, there is right. one of Just the so keys. it's a little bit more clear. Right. So you can leave it circle. I think people get confused. Not everybody's as smart as, or I don't want to say smart. Not everybody's as uh, savvy. savvy with this kind <laughs> of stuff. You start saying half circle, they're, they're, you know, you're going to spend an hour telling them what a half circle is. All I'm saying, well, <laughs> all I'm saying is if you left it the circle, and I don't care either way, I'm good with this, but if we left it the circle and then we just got to put the verbiage in, the only place the circle can, can cross, cross or encroach a, a property line is in front of the setback. Yeah. So that's what. That's a nice way of saying it doesn't yeah. matter up front. Well, yeah. see, that's what Rick had, and I thought that that was more confusing because you see the diagram and you see the circle sticking out and it's like well wait I thought you weren't supposed to do that you right. have to read I, a little bit more I'm good with this I don't care I'm but it, yeah. It, it's yeah I could be I'm okay with either way and Me I too. think it's just a question of you know clarification that which do we feel is um, the clearest way to explain this to the lay person right you know, because the professional isn't going to need. They don't well, the, the problem savvy. with the professional is they look for <laughs> yeah. shortcuts uh, or ways around it or or loopholes. That's it. I spent 24 years that's looking for loopholes. That's, 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 <laughs> well, that's right. We know that. <laughs> that's what their job is. And, and right now, our job is to keep that to a minimum. So when someone comes into your office, there's less opportunity for a discussion well, like well, that. Right. If the ground rules are the ground rules, everybody's playing with the same ground rules. Yeah. It makes We're just there. Right. But I mean, Doug did the same thing for years, you know, looking for those loopholes for his customers. Absolutely. You know, that's, that was the whole thing. That's it's what we're to, to do. Keep the system. Admit, you know, and you know, the building code isn't the building code. It's merely a guideline as to how to build a building. And it was up to us to interpret what all that nonsense meant. The thing is, what this does is it enables the, the smarter growth in the town, in, in my opinion. Because again, um, you want to be able to control uh, residential growth and commercial growth. If it runs rampant and uncontrolled, residential growth isn't necessarily the best thing for a community. Absolutely okay? not. It, it, it is if it's smart growth, but... There's got to be a balance. There has to be a balance, and the reason why I say that is having just completed the, the new high school and uh, going to be a new elementary school, the state has determined the pupil projections for the next 15 or 20 years. And that's based on buildable area, okay? So when they look at the town of West Springfield, they see how many buildable areas. If we were Agawam with a lot of farms left in Big Open or Enfield, Connecticut or whatever, they would have projected our population in our schools much higher. Right. Okay. If we just drastically change our zoning regulations and all of a sudden lot sizes get smaller and flag lots are easy to get, you're going to get an influx of residential development and that, that can then outweigh your smart growth, which then puts burdens on some of your in other infrastructures, water, sewer, water pressure, school systems, and Taxes. that kind of stuff. Well, it helps in your taxes, but doesn't necessarily no. residential housing no. doesn't necessarily. No. I'm saying cover it, the cost commercial. I'm saying it, it hurts the taxes if there's more too much residential and not enough commercial. Right. With multi family. There's 
Yeah, yeah right. But, still but I, I, I didn't realize multifamilies were taxed as residential. Yeah. That's crazy yeah. to me. How about an apartment block? That's tax and I, residential too? I believe I think, so. I think it's over over four family. After that, it becomes a, a okay, commercial maybe. property because it's a whole different building code and everything. Yeah, but, well, whatever. I'm getting off subject. All right. Yeah, but that's, so that's why this is important. That portion of the whole lot list is important because it's going to control, I guess, what you Well, call and also quality of life for the people that the are neighbors. adjacent to <laughs> these things. Yeah. Well, that's my big Property issue with those flag lots. I don't have a problem with a flag lot. I just think our criteria on that poll is way too uh, lax. lax. You know, the, the flag lots, you know, we allow them to do 75 feet in a funnel. And, you know, theoretically, the driveway, which is, to me, a, a short street, is right where the other two houses' kids are playing. I, I don't like that. To I me, agree. that... That that's pole should be wide, yeah. and there should be buffers. That's why I mentioned the dimensions are up to you guys. I don't like the 50-foot 50, the 50 width. Either. No, I don't like that at all. I don't With like the one point what do you think it should be? Well, I look at it this way. If you have, I, I don't have it. It should never choke down less than 50 feet. If it starts at 75 and it has to choke down to 50 and then widen again, so that's now remember, what I had feet, put. Puts, how many puts a 24 foot wide driveway, which they're entitled to have, yeah. that kind of thing, out of 50 feet? You only have 20, 12 feet, of, 12 12 feet, feet on feet each feet side. side. I don't yeah. think that's a lot. So that's not a lot. That's what? That's what not, I had put in here is from here to the wall. you have to have the 75 feet of frontage, and then it can go down to 60 feet, which is the width of the average side street right of way, 60 feet. So it's no different than a real street. I, mean, if I, 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 I would go with that. I mean, if I, ha I don't understand why we allow them to funnel well, it down Well, you can do 75. I mean, if I research, 75 feet should be all the way down. Then like that's regular, fine. How, how would that affect the irregular lot? Don't. No, see, you keep bringing them back together. Right? Flag yeah. lot and all the other lots need to be separate. But they're not right now. Right now well, that's what we're doing. Well, we're trying to keep the diagram. The diagram can be that way, but the, it's the description. Like the description, okay, we're going to change We that want to keep flag lots completely separate, and they really should. They're, I don't want to get into special permit for every lot. Irregular lots, that's ridiculous. That, that, Maybe that, just flag lots. Well, at, the way that this is written is if it doesn't meet these standards where it has to have 75 feet and then can't get any narrower than 60 feet between the road and the, the structure, if it doesn't meet that requirement, at least, then it's not allowed. It's no, just, right. it's, it's a... Can't even be granted a special permit. You, can, you need a variance. They'd have to go get a variance. Which I don't think is unreasonable. I don't... So okay. your regular lots kind of fall off the radar with the semicircle. The, 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 the issue is, you know, there's a case where a variance might be okay. You know what I mean? You, you're, you oh. inherited a lot. I'm talking about when Bill Burke comes in with a plot of land and he wants a variance to get six lots in there just to make more money. You know what I mean? That's not right. Well, and that's why you have variance where there has to be a hardship. Right. Like the a other thing that you statu statutory variance. variance. The other thing that you right. don't want to happen, which, you know, there's a lot of big, long, deep lots in West Springfield. You don't want somebody to go 50 feet to a lot. There you go. And then 50 feet, Put another and then there's there. another lot, okay? And then that guy gets that. That starts to get subdivision issue. Yeah. You know, that should have a that should have a roadway with two lots. So then you add a standard that you can't have two flag lots that are next to each other. Then well, it's hard to do that or because what about the guy on the other side? Different owner. I'm just saying that's why I think that minimum width thing. That minimum width thing helps. If it's not 50, if these are 50. Is, you know, this guy only needs Start cramming 125 in. foot of frontage. He, if, the, if it's deep enough, you know, he could theoretically put three lots there. He could keep going. 50, 50, 50. 50. 50 and keep, you know. Huh. Yeah. You could take 150 feet of frontage and get three flags on it. Well, you got to have 75 foot at the street. I, I, my knee jerk reaction well, is it should be 75 foot for the pole, yeah, and that's again, it. I, no narrowing. Sorry, I'm referring to this one where it said you only needed 50 yeah, foot. Right. 
So let me ask, that, why would you do that if you could just build your road here and then Because it's a hell of a lot more expensive to cost Yeah, because there's, 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 there's no three infrastructure. Three driveways are the responsibility of the owner. Roadways are $400 a foot okay. to build a subdivision road. Yeah. A driveway? A driveway, there's no, there's no utility, well, there's utilities in it, but on a subdivision, see, now this guy's house would have to have sewage that would come. This guy's house would have to have sewage that would come. This guy's house would have to have sewage and water. They wouldn't let them bring one, one main, one left, whatever you call it. That's the one you start to do that. That's the subdivision. So this says no more than two hammerhead. So no more than two flag lots shall have contiguous frontage. So you can have two what? next. No more than two flag lots can have contiguous frontage. Oh, the 75 foot or 50, whatever it was, so can't we wouldn't touch each other. Yeah. Only two. 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 And that's where it triggers your subdivision regs anyways. All right. After two right, but that, that guy, see, here's my, no. No. That, this guy, let's say you owned all that property, you could put two there. But then the poor bastard over here, he can't pull yep. Because there's two right there. He'd have to have his driveway over here. First of the race. <laughs> yeah, I like no more than two. I don't know if I'd even like two. I'd rather one. see one. Well, you're worried about the neighbor not being able to do. Not the neighbor. Okay. <laughs> I got the <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, I, I, me, my knee-jerk reaction is 75 feet, and you can't have two of them touching each other. That's my knee-jerk reaction for flag lots. The other thing I, now that I'm thinking of it again, is there a way that would, in Frank, you know, to your point, here's 75 feet, they do this, and then they, you know, make the lot. Okay, I don't like that. You know, this is 75 feet. The, up here, they go down to, you know, whatever. 50. The problem is this right here. This is what kills me. Yeah. What? This, this that little, little this, I'm again, not that Frank, against this, it. Somebody could do this. They could come down to the front, come over here, come back in a foot, come back over 25 right. feet, horrible. and then go like That's that. That's bullshit. And be, and be qualified as having legal frontage. So, you don't have to convince me. I'm dead against that. Well, that's I wrote it so it's minimum 60 foot separation, but we can bump it up to 75. What do you mean 60 foot? So yeah, I have. So this can't get down choked. This can't get choked down to 50 feet. feet. It would have to. I just think it shouldn't choke that down that at all. I, if you're going to. I'm in the same. So, so then you can do 75. Have to divide your property. So okay. Give up 75 feet all the, all way, the way back. back. So that's. Yeah. If you want to lower it to 70 or 60. But you shouldn't it, be able to choke it down. It just yeah. looks like crap. Yeah. Get rid of these things. Get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. It should be 75 feet straight back. It would, yeah. And it, it would tighten the criteria, and there would be a lot less of them because yeah. a lot of these properties that are doing these flag lots do that. don't don't have 75 feet. And they or look like crap. To give up. Yeah. Look at that mess on Dewey Street. Jesus. Um, what, what are you talking about? On, on the stuff that fell off the truck. Yeah, you didn't see that stuff fall off the truck? That was the mess that he was talking about. Oh, oh. When the down, guy, yeah. That's where it starts to go down the hill. Where there. a truck tipped over. All right, so um, can you, we'll, we'll, we'll review this hopefully yeah. when we get a full crowd. And can you, Send are you guys, me. everybody here okay with 75 feet straight back if she puts a little time into the flag lot one? I'm and then okay we'll review with both a of these. Uniform width. Yeah. The okay. only reason I have a problem with changing it is because we have a minimum of 75 feet other places, and right? It would, avoid, it would avoid that little pie in the front. No, but what he's saying, should we go down to 60? I, no, I don't I'm think not, so. I'm not saying that. I, I want it to be a uniform. Are you okay with 75 uniform? Sure. Are you okay with 75 uniform? Yeah. Are you okay with 75 uniform? So can you just, and, and then we'll take this and that flag lot one with a 75 foot minimum present that hopefully to the rest of the group next time and move forward on this. That's fine. It's Good. literally just changing right. two, yeah. two digits. Okay, next meeting. Well, what what do you want to do for the circle, though? Right. Leave, it, leave it to yours. 
I don't care, half or... Well, it, it matters because it's either, this is more permissive than what we were originally discussing. So can we... I like how. Give me an example. Because it Your can, circle. the circle can go out on In front sides. of the property, in front of the setback. Right, but, right, but it can... The full circle could hang out into the street, but it couldn't hang out to, on right. the sides. Right, this lets it hang out on the sides, too. No, but that's okay. Because he still has to have 75 foot here. Yeah. I, I'm, like I said, so I'm the okay circle, with that. you can either use half circles or you do the circle, the full circle, allowing the prop side lines to encroach okay. within the circle. What about, what about handing this, what about handing this to your two building inspectors and see if they can just interpret Figure that simply? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Just, They're hey, look, what do you think of this? Right. And then we'll, then, then give us, give us their answer that, at the next why, meeting. That's why I think I, and again, uh, Allison and I can go over it just to see if it's truly, uh, I, I can't see the difference at the moment, but um, I want Patrick to be able to take a plan that comes into him that has, you know, lots, and I want him to be able to know where that front yard setback yeah. is and then go, you know, because even, even if it encroaches on the sides or whatever, he can just, you know, does it fit, does it not fit? Right. But it can only encroach he he in front of the setback. Yeah, because yeah, it's a hard and fast criteria. It, it's not subject to interpretation. No. And, and us, you know, debating, he's like, he all right, have this circle any, don't fit. He doesn't have Reject. to know any graphics. Yeah. He doesn't have to do angles or calculations. Okay, so you okay with asking him to look at this? Yeah. Okay, so there, So just to wrap up, because I, I want to get going. This, this you're going to ask the two guys to look at, get their opinion. You're going to change the yep. flag lot to 75 feet? I'll add the no more than two. Yes. Well, no. Do we want to go frontage? two or one? Flag lots touching each other. Well, what See, I'm open. Can you ask Kate about that? Like, well, it, it, would, it could be two okay. if it was well, left and right. Yours. Yeah. You know, so I guess. Yeah, but you can't look at that because it could be mine and yours a year from now. They're both mine, and I sell you one. That, all I'm saying. Forget who owns them. I, w I shouldn't have said that. No, no, no but, but it's a valid point because if, if you have a large chunk of property and I'm your next door neighbor and you make one that abuts me. The first to the race, you said. Yeah, I mean, I, that's the, kind of the cold take on it, but it's just like that would prohibit, say that was the side that I also had the largest chunk of land where I could subdivide mine into a flag lot. So, I mean, I think that's where the possibly the two adjacent I, I, came I don't, from. My vote is one. I think with the 75 feet that you have to have, having two next to each other isn't. It's highly unlikely. It's Yes, that, and if it did happen, it wouldn't be that. And the only reason I don't like it is because of the drawing he did. Now you could have one here, here, and both houses here. Well, I mean. That looks you, like a, yeah. it, it just, yeah. that's just I mean, gross. You could, you could prohibit that by saying that, you know, uh, the original parcel can only be subdivided into a flag lot once. No, but you could still... Yeah, that, that, I, there was somewhere I saw that, but it gets a little messy because you have to know the What's history wrong with of one? the parcel. What's wrong with okay. one flag lot and the other one not? You can't have one right next to another flag lot. No two flag lots shall have contiguous frontage. Right. Okay, let's... Yeah, Does that mean that. one? That means one. They, yeah. can't be, they can't have two flag lots Why? next to each other. Well, because if anybody bought it, it would have to go through her. She should be able to. Well, they got to fight. It's cut and dry. Yeah, We'd have to ask her from, everything we do. From a design, yeah. from a designer perspective, you know, if if I was trying to do that, it wouldn't matter if I just flopped it over to the other exactly. side. Exactly. That's what I was. Okay. That's I couldn't right. say that. Right. The, the, the flags can to you. touch. The poles can't. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think two poles should be put together. So, but then does it mean it can look like this? Which side has the property to give up to create yeah. a flag lot? That's all. So the difference on to that drawing that I was showing you. Right. So would it look like that? that would and it. then there'd be a lot in the middle. And a lot in the middle. Or it could so also, so, well, it yeah. could be this, too. And then another one on that side, yeah. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay. And then there could be a lot here. That's right. So you could have a house here, here, and here. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with stacking them. Right. So that that clause would eliminate this exactly. and allow that. Yeah, that. Okay. All right. So we're all good with all that? Yep. Allison's got homework.
next meeting, two weeks, would be the ninth. Everybody okay with that? Not that anybody's here. I will not be here that week. Well, that's good. We'll get some more done. Everybody always says that about me, so I, I gotta throw it out there once in a while. 